were here at Otaihanga Domain and back in 2016 this whole domain was underwater, a flood from the Waikanae Awa. So Amanda, the Waikanae does flood and it's quite a risk in this area. Yeah, it sure does. So um, as you saw earlier in the, the catchment model video, you could see that um, water flows down the tributaries and through the um, streams and rivers quite quickly. So that's what happens here. And it starts up in the headwaters. Um, we get a lot of rainfall and the more rainfall, the more water in the river, um, which causes a flood. And for local people, that's, that's quite a risk. So what do they need to be aware of? so that they're not at risk of floods in the future? So I guess the best thing to do is to know where your flood hazard is. So your local council um, will have some beautiful maps, mostly digital, online, but this is a, a printed version, that show where the flood waters are likely to go during a flood. Um, ideally, and most of the time, the flood waters usually stay within the channel, but um, we do get a lot of rainfall sometimes, um, back in 2005 was the last really, really big storm here um, and it flooded quite a lot, including some of the houses around here. Um, but as you can see, all of the blue blue area um, is, which is land that is prone to flooding. So that, that's quite a lot of land and I'm assuming there's a fair few people that live in that area. So what advice would you give to those people if, um, say, the forecast was for really heavy rain and flooding was a possibility? So I guess um, in terms of the preparedness, um, you want to know your hazard, obviously know where it's likely to flood and where areas are that are safe for you to evacuate to if you have to. Um, it's a good idea to make a plan with your family in case you're at school and they're at home um, and also have a plan around what you're going to do with your pets because we can't forget those pets and the other good thing to do is to have a grab and go bag in case you have to evacuate in a hurry so this is a really fancy one but they don't have to be that fancy you can grab an old school bag or just any bag you have lying around and make sure that it's got stuff in it that you can use if you have to evacuate in a hurry water bottles there's a torch, we've got games and all sorts of stuff and you personalise it for you so things that are important and you think you will need, that's what goes in your bag. Um, mm. That's what you should do before a flood, if you get the, the warnings from your local councils to say that there's heavy rain coming, um, the best thing to do is to, to stay tuned to your local radio stations um, and follow your civil defence group on social media and check their websites out because they'll be giving up to date information and the only other thing to be aware of is to make sure that whatever you do don't go in the floodwaters they can often contain contaminants and, and nasty things you can get broken sewage pipes so you can get raw sewage <laughs> um, and so whatever you do don't go in the floodwaters yeah fantastic advice because an hour doesn't always look this friendly so lots to think about. Thanks, Amanda. Yeah, no.